Hi everybody, back with another NBA highlight review video. Y'all already know, I don't need no intro already. I'm a sports princess. <laughs> uh, Sylvia here, but y'all we about to get into it. One of my favorite point guards who is coming into his own. Um, John Morant. Guys, he's um, so dedicated to the game. Man, he's um, so different from other point guards like Steph and CP3. Like, this man literally sacrifices his body. He recently just had a high roll ankle sprain, and they was evaluating him week to week. And I was so worried because I'm like, no, don't let nothing happen to Ja. That's my baby. But, yeah, um, he's a Leo like me, you know, um, always pushing forward and fighting. And we got that strength card, so we always stay strong to the end no matter what and endure. But, guys, let's get into this review. Steven Adams is still with OKC after all these years. Ja was the first one to score two points. Nice little layup. Well, Juseski, how do you say his name? The Thunder, shot of three. Okay, Jenny tried for a three. But the Thunder, they doing good. They did good Wednesday night. Then Dylan Brooks. Man, for a job for the Memphis. Alexander for a three. Okay, okay, see, y'all got some shooters. I see, I see. Morant to Adams. Adams to Dylan Brooks, back to Adams, gets his N1. Y'all, what I like about Ja, um, this little break that's going on, this little ad, is that he doesn't ball hog the ball. You know how you got, like, them franchise, you know, players who's, like, the face or the image. You know, they always talk about them, like, the media and whatnot. Ja includes everybody in. He doesn't feel like he's better than anybody or superior because you know like he is the face of the grizzlies he does have like you know not saying that all of them don't have legal endorsements or little charities or whatnot because they do but ja is definitely one of the upcoming players that everybody's been talking about they compare him to um trey young you know you have luca Danjeet now um you have DeJounte Murray, who used to play for my second favorite team, the Spurs. But um, he's just amazing. Like, Ja, his playing style has been compared by even sports media, you know, commentators or whatnot. Or overall, in general, by, um, you know, everybody around the world like to westbrook like it's crazy i had lost my train of thought but yeah um and i'm not even a fan of westbrook you know like it's crazy but ja looks up to him he said that's one of the main reasons he wanted to play like westbrook is you know his idol you know he wants to be westbrook protege that's who he plays like like how kobe played like michael jordan you know and played against him but yeah and they definitely do get similar similarities because Westbrook is another one who drives to the hole he's not one of the best three-point shooters but they do some nasty dunks they go um get in that paint they're gonna sacrifice their body they are just gonna draw the n1 they're gonna get to the free throw line and that's what I love and respect about both of them I'm not the biggest fan of Westbrook but I do respect his gameplay and job ja plays similar like him he's like a modern day you know RW if you must say but yeah That got y'all ja back on the court dribbling. Look, look how he just oh that man so wicked, man. And Memphis was at home this game. What I like is that OKC, they tied this game. You know, they, they, they kept it within the lead. They was taking it and whatnot. Because Memphis, 
is number three in the West right now. They're right behind another one of my favorite teams, um, the Phoenix Suns, with Devin Booker and CP3 is one of my favorite, you know, last veterans in the league, point guard. And it's crazy because they both tied right now, 16 and 9. Yeah, because Memphis and Phoenix got 16 wins a piece and they both got nine losses a piece so it's got to be a tiebreaker tonight so we gonna see but um yeah and then you got boston for the east number one of course milwaukee number two cleveland number three so it's crazy another reason i'm so proud of ja regardless of that hot ankle sprain it's like this new generation like my time that we get hurt and we get back up and fight again. Like a high ankle sprain. He actually should have been sitting out a little bit longer. This happened like about a week and a half ago, like almost. And, you know, he rested it up. I guess it wasn't that bad. I guess they shot his ankle up. You know, the professionals, they can do that in their profession uh, with they play and whatnot. But Ja had his second triple-double, guys, for this season. I'm so proud of him. Man, 26 points, 13 rebounds. 11 assists and two steals. He put in work. He, I love how he grabs his own rebound. Like, even when he, I'm, like, I'm telling you, when he go to the hole and boom, like, even if he missed sometimes, he's still, okay, no, I'm finna still get this mug in here. This basket, it's squish, period. And then 11 assists. I told y'all, like, I love how he gets his team involved, like his teammates, his brothers. He always calls them his brothers. I love when they, I'm watching the game and, they had an audio plan. They let you hear, like, you know, because, of course, we can't really see what they're actually saying unless they get the inside audio, like the NBA inside, inside TV. It'd be so dope. He'd be like, man, let's keep going. Let's keep going. You know, push, baby, push. That's what I'm talking about. Man, he's giving them half fives. He's cheering them on, telling them if they down. You know, they don't think about that. You know, keep going, keep going. You know, we got this. Man, whether they down in a bad situation or a good situation, he just, I love how he just uplifts everybody, you know? It's all about that leadership, baby. All about that that confidence, lean by example, believing in yourself. But um, with that being said, he's also 66.7% for the free um, throw. No, for three-pointers. I'm sorry, for three-pointers. Yeah, that's crazy. And for him to be 66.7 for the three-pointer percentage, that's amazing because he's more of a driver. Like I said, once again, it's like Westbrook. They go to the hole. You know, they slamming that mark down. They getting their in one, drawing their foul. You know, assisting the ball, setting up the perimeter for their guys to shoot. So, yeah, I'm so proud of him. But let's watch a little bit more of this. Man, Troy, man, okay. Okay, so you got some shooters. Let me find out they're like a modern-day Phoenix Suns. Y'all know Phoenix used to have some shooters back then. Man, they had Steve Nash. Huh, Phoenix was a problem back in the day. Man, who was another one? Who actually is doing good in the West as well. Can't forget Utah. You had, huh, Jeff Hornacek, John Stockton, and Michael Jordan used to be scared against them, Carl Malone. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Dylan Brooks for a three. That was Jones for a three. Sorry. But Dylan Brooks did shoot some threes that night. He had 24 points. He was two points off for time with John Morant that night. But he wouldn't have got no triple though, but he would have had 24 points. But y'all, with that being said, Memphis won that game. And I'm just so proud of them. And the final score was 123 to 102. And Memphis was at home. And, you know, Memphis, Tennessee, that, that city, you know, they have been through a lot. You know, from the gutter, you know, out the mud, like in the trap. They really, like, grind for it and make it. Like, look at the rapper Gorilla, for example. Not to bring her up, but, you know, prime example. Like, you know, they coming into their own. They really work for it. Like, this girl used to work at fast food. And now, look, I'm one of the most... Um, trending rappers, if not, talked about rappers right now in the music industry. So, yeah, Memphis has always been a hard hand team. You know, they had Young Dolph, rest in peace to him. You know, they always just stay true and gritty and raw. Like, and that's what I love about Ja. Like, he's all of those things I've just said. Like, he keeps going no matter what. And he stays true to himself. But, y'all, be on the lookout for my next highlight review video that will be coming soon. And peace out.
Entonces, 